Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our bacon and eggs run here on Elm Creek. And just about to fast forward, but I want to go ahead and drop off a little bit of manure. As we do, we know we have some piled up over here. How are we doing on the slurry? Slurry's looking just fine. Like, no problems with the slurry whatsoever. Don't know that we'll ever run out of slurry. Got you dropped off. How are we doing here? Really nothing. Okay. You got to get ready for the sorghum. Which I guess we'll start with this little tiny bit here from our little mistake. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, cool. Let's fast forward. Should be back to a nice full stockpile of pigs again. How the piggy's doing? Let's see here. Oh, I forgot to sell. Just forgot to pay back some loan. That's all right. Um, pigs are looking good. Just got the new babies in here. And looking good on food. Uh, we do have not, or five about to reproduce. So we do need to get rid of five. So we'll get rid of five of these baby ones down here. That's going to get you started, Mr. Harvester. I don't think I really need the header here because he's not going to harvest the sunflowers because he can't. So not a big deal, but we'll finish it up, get him started on the other direction after this. All right, you're good. Let's grab you to grab the cedar. Started on the canola. Uh, we do need to fast forward some time to make sure we have healthy pigs to sell. Alright, there we go. Should be good. Yeah. 
Just to make sure. I'm gonna put a header here still. I don't think you'd cross over into the corn. But hey, I didn't think you were gonna cross over to the sunflowers. I think the corn's a bit more immune, though, because we would have to actually plow it. So I don't think this thing can even plant on there if we wanted it to. All right, cool. That's done. You are going to get some pigs. I don't know why I went this direction. <laughs> it was faster to go the other direction. I started doing it, and I'm like, wait a minute. What are you doing? You could have just... Been done by now. Grab you to go get ready to gather up some sorghum. Next pigs we sell will be, well, next grown-up pigs we sell won't be for another seven months. Going to be a little bit tight on the money, I guess, for a while. Uh, this screen right here does show more negative than positive as of right now. We're about to sell some more pigs, to be fair, but not going to be enough to counteract the negatives. But we're only a couple months away from eggs again, which will be really good for us. I don't know. We're borderline. We might just be break-even, honestly, over the course of an entire year. I don't think I want to do anything with you right now. You're fine. Actually, you know what? We could, you could start over here on this harvest. Because by the time we actually plant the sorghum, I think... Yeah, we'll have, we'll have plenty of time to get this thing completely filled up.
All right, good stuff. You're good. You next thing you'll be planting will be barley and or wheat. Drift of this trailer is causing the things to shift a little bit. Let me just unload everything and then reload it back up. Cool. I just want to make sure it was nice and neat. Yeah, it's the first time we've gotten to the third tier, right? So definitely more than we've had before. And we still got a couple more months to go. So. Yeah, we're, we're going to get full effect from that, I think, that second chicken coop now. We're pretty close to it. I mean, we might not have been... I think we were at 270 to 300 chickens when the cycle started again in November, so we're right at full capacity. Oh, you're good. Ready to go. You can... Are you picking up? You're picking up more pigs, aren't you? Yes. Or did we already do the second set of pigs? I'll have to check here in a second. Actually, let's check right now. We are down. 36. Yeah, we need one more set. Because we need 45. Technically, I wonder what what would happen. I guess they wouldn't be able to eat, but I was like, I wonder what happened if we just left them in the truck for a month. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess they wouldn't eat, but I would assume they'd still get older. Kind of an interesting thought. Do I want to try it? Because these, these pigs don't really matter. I kind of want to try it just to see what happens. I don't know. It's probably silly, but I just want to try it. I would imagine they'd be at zero health. Yeah, you know what? They're going to be at zero. I would, they'd have to be at zero health, which means I wouldn't have a way to get them back fully healthy, which means that they would not be worth anything. So even though they'd be a month older, be a month older worth zero, which is not helpful at all. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell them. And if it doesn't work that way, that's how it should work. <laughs> so in on that side of the, on that note, uh, I'm going to make sure that we just play it normal. You're doing all right. You are ready to drop off some more sorghum. Honestly, we might even be able to drop off the sorghum over here with the chickens. How much, how much food capacity we got with the chickens? Oh, yeah. I think this pipe's long enough to, to get over there. A little bit of finagling probably, but I think we'll be able to get it. Well, maybe not. There we go. I mean, I wasn't necessarily going to be using sorghum for this, but we got we got enough. We got enough between the sorghum and the corn. We're going to be fine. And it's not like it was that much sorghum. Just top them off a little bit. Cool. All right, that is done. Next thing for you, Mr. Uh, Harvester, is... Beans or sunflowers or corn. Any of those three. 
probably the soybeans since it's right here. Uh, let me just back you up so you're already on the spot that he's already fertilized. But yeah, we'll get you get you doing the soybeans here in a little bit. Cool, you're done. You're good. You're good. You are almost there. And you got a little ways to go. So let's take over for you and help you the rest of the way. And then that will be it as I'm scratching my arm and looking at my pad driving off the road. Um, and like I said, next month is barley and wheat. We will have to do the arbor siding here in a bit, but that's fine. That's easy enough. Almost got enough to pay off three ticks of a loan. We'll go ahead and pay off the two ticks, though, so I don't forget again. So how are we looking? 11, 20, yeah, we're definitely negative for these these five months. But I think we'll be positive again here pretty soon. So, again, at the end of the day, it might just be a net break even. But I think we're close to profit. Let's drop off this trailer. Actually, do we have some more manure that we can drop off? Might as well. Almost finished that whole field with one full load. Not bad. I right, to stay here to drop off some more. Just fine. And you're almost back. All right, I'll be right back once this guy gets all the way back home. I'll just let's skip just a few seconds. All right, we're back. This guy just finished up. Um, well, finished up what he had, but he only had like tiny, tiny little bit left. So not too bad. That'll be good for that field. And we'll just park you right over here. And I think that's it. How are we looking on? Pig food is great. Well, as good as it's going to get. Chicken food is fine. I mean, these chickens are a little bit low, but we'll, we'll, they're fine for another month, obviously. And we already emptied out the chicken. So let's go ahead and fast forward and be ready to plant some barley and wheat and do some herbiciding. I don't know how much you guys are liking the music or not. Uh, again, it might still be too loud. It might be maybe not loud enough. I honestly don't know. It's hard for me to tell because I'm wearing headphones. And um, let me know again in the comments below if the music's good, bad. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too annoying for, I guess, four episodes now. Uh, if you didn't like it, uh, if you do like it, then and it's kind of fills in those gaps, then let me know. Because I don't play the music on this game, right? I have to turn the radio off because I think the radio in this game does trigger copyright notices. So uh, I just wanted something smooth and easy. And honestly... I've enjoyed the music, just sitting here kind of chilling out and doing some farming. I thought it's been pretty pretty smooth and relaxing. But if you guys don't like it, then I can go back to silence because truth be told, here's the funny thing. When I drive, and this is, this is going to sound some weird to you guys, when I drive long distances, and by long distance, I mean like 15 hours because my, my family lives about, uh, actually, I think they're closer to 18 hours away. They're, they're a long ways away, right? It's usually a two-day trip to like 10, 12-hour days. Uh, and I say 10 to 12 hours because it depends on how much the kids have to stop for potty breaks and 
how much we stop for food and stuff like that. So uh, what, maybe like 10 hours of driving ends up being 12 hour day. Um, but during those long driving sessions, sometimes I'll put like a book on tape and stuff like that on and listen to that. But I don't usually listen to that much music unless my kids just really want it. Uh, I'm actually okay with driving hours on end with just total silence, which is so weird. But it just, I don't know, I just kind of get in a zone and just just kind of with my thoughts. So I don't know, what do you, what do you guys do? Do you guys, do you guys, if you're driving a long ways, do you listen to music or, or do you, do you like silence or what, what, you know? My wife can't even, my wife cannot even back out of the garage. Unless there's music playing. So she's complete opposite. Uh, but it's funny. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I actually do like music. I, I'm not trying to say that I don't like music. I, I actually like music a lot. I just, sometimes when I'm driving, driving, you know, long distances and stuff like that, I just kind of like chilling. Just kind of being in my own thoughts. Um. Okay. Yeah. They were good to fast forward. I don't know why I just drove that thing back over there, but. Oh, no. We already fast forwarded. I was like, I missed it. So I'm sitting here talking about music and forgetting where I, I was at. So this should be the barley field. Oh, yep. yep, yep, yep. I know, I know. Cool. All right. So you, okay. Pigs, we'll check that in a second. Uh, let's go and get you started filling up even though we're not going to use you. Uh, and then it's not time to harvest you yet, so you're chilling. It is time to do some herbiciding though. I will say when I'm getting tired, like at, at towards the end of those 10 hour days, 10, 12 hour days, whatever it ends up being, or if we decide to drive straight through, which... We've done a couple times. It is not fun, but sometimes we've had like we've had to get back, or we you know things have come up, or the weather looked like it was going to get bad the next day, and we just didn't want to deal with that. So we've driven straight through, and that's a long, 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 long day. But a few times that we've done that, um, towards the end of those, when I'm getting a little bit tired and the caffeine's like uh, not quite doing it, I'll put on some like heavier like music, you know, <laughs> like you know hip hop, like like some heavier hip hop or rock or something like that, just just to kind of get the beat going. To, keep me kind of awake and in in the uh, and going you know strong and stuff like that and the, the, the roads that we drive on are like backwoods texas roads so if you're ever driven on texas roads the speed limit's great i mean speed limit's usually at least 35 miles an hour on those back roads and you don't see anybody zero traffic you see one person in like you know whatever but for hours on end you know and and uh but uh but yeah, it gets kind of late. And honestly, the biggest fear is just when it gets dark and stuff like that, just staying alert for all like the deer and stuff like that. Because there's a lot of deer over there too. But, uh, all right. Let's check the piggies. We do need to go ahead and feed those chickens probably. All right. Nobody's reproducing. How did, I don't know how we ended up. I guess it, was it inevitable that we were going to end up with sets of 45 is that is that logical that we were going to end up exactly at sets of 45 i don't know that's so weird i don't know that i was expecting that that is that is peculiar uh we will have these kid pigs reproduced before we sell them um so the next pigs to sell will be will be will be baby pigs uh but again we're a couple a couple months away from that I'm trying to think if there's anything else for us to do right this second. Not really. Once you finish it up, you can go grab the, uh, like some wheat or something for the, the chickens to get them topped off. Pretty happy with this farm so far. Honestly, this, I don't know if it's, is it my favorite farm so far? I'm, I'm really enjoying a lot about this farm. Um... I love the, all the different crops. I think that's cool and unique. I mean, pigs are just different, you know, and they're pretty easy to maintain. I mean, other than the fact they need lots of different food, which I actually think is, is part of the cool thing. I like I like the fact they need lots of different things. Um, yeah, I don't know. This I'm, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying this farm a lot. Got a lot of stuff going on every single month. 
Uh, I mean, did we spend more money than we should have? Sure. Do I wish we were a little bit less in debt? Yeah, but uh, I'm also happy with the fact that we're using like good equipment and stuff like that. I'm not having to worry about... I mean, it's not even the biggest of the biggest equipment, but it's still... It's good equipment, you know? And that feels pretty good. Trying to make ends meet with like puny equipment. It's fine, and there's definitely a a market on YouTube for people to watch people struggling their way through early stuff to try and buy their own equipment along the way. There's definitely plenty of people that like that kind of stuff. But for me, it just... I mean, I could do another one of those. I mean, I've done stuff similar to that. I can definitely do one. For me, it just feels a little slow um, for YouTube kind of video. YouTube series. Alright. Uh, we'll grab some wheat. I see we're not going to need that much. That's good for now. All right. I think we're going to put a cut in there. I'm going to let this guy run, though. Um, we'll probably come back once I get moved over to the wheat field and kind of go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I really do hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.